Um, before this video starts, I just want to apologize for the kind of the shaky camera. It was because I was trying to hurry up and record it because my arm was hurling just from holding my phone from recording. So I do apologize for the shaky screen and all that. I wish I had an Elgato so I can just record it for my Xbox, you know, just so I won't have to, you know, hold my phone to record it. So like I said, I do apologize for this. So I hope you do enjoy this video though. Yo, what is going on guys? It's Toxic and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to hack World at War and play with the World at War mods on Xbox One. Now, I made a video on this a year ago, <clears throat> so this is an updated version of it. <clears throat> but first off, you need an Xbox 360 to do this. So, you want to go to System, you want to go to Settings, Storage, go to your USB, and then you want to go to Profile and make, just to make sure that your profile is on that. USB I'm doing it on in this account right here shadow snappers 28 so <clears throat> I'm going to show you um because like if you don't have Xbox live it will say move or only like move or delete items only now I'm going to show you um I'm going to show you my games so that you do not need a save game because I see a lot of videos of other YouTube talking about some oh first things first you need to make a save game file you do not have to make a save game file Okay, you do not have to. I don't know why they said it, but you just don't have to. Alright, so after you make sure that your profile is on the USB, just simply take the USB out the Xbox and go ahead and go to the computer. Okay, so you want to put your USB into your computer and open the app called Horizon. Link will be in the description so you can download it. And there was a, a mod menu file that has a whole bunch of mod menus in it. I will leave that in the description as well. Go on gamer profiles and drag your um, profile onto the horizon thing. And then once you get done downloading the mod thing, you want to open that up. And we're going to do Frozen 4v2. Now if you want to do the rest of them, like if you want to choose one, the steps are exactly the same. So you want to double click on it and drag this, uh, drag this down a bit. Drag the save game onto horizon. And once you do that, I'm going to pause the video right here because you're going to have to copy the profile ID, the device ID, and the console ID. So I'll be right back. Okay, so after you copy the profile ID, device ID, and the console ID to the modded save, you want to click out this, and then you want to save hash and resign twice. I do it twice. After you do that, you want to go and um, save to this device and flash drive, and then click yes. Now this is, um, and then a message will pop up here soon, there we go, you want to click OK, then you want to close out all of this and take a USB out and go back to the Xbox 360 because we're not done. After you put your USB into your game, go to the system, store, USB device, games and app, and then there you see, there's a save game right there, you want to go on it. Click move and then you want to click on cloud save because this is for the Xbox One stuff. So after you click that, you, um, it, this will take a while because this is your first time. I'm going to pause the video until this is done. Okay, so when this is done, you want to click all the way out and then go to cloud save game right here. And there you will see the mod menu is ready for you on the Xbox One. So we're going to go to the Xbox One right now. Okay, so you want to go to solo and oh my god, why the fuck? Okay, so when you press start, a message will pop up saying save to cloud storage. You want to click on that and then go to solo and resume and then let this load up. This will do it every time you um, start up World of War. That's how the mod menu works. I think that's all how USB mods work. So you want to go like skip that. You don't have to watch that. And then you will see right there the message is that the message of the day is modded. So I went on um, Zombie Verrupt because my friend doesn't have the resource, you know, So yeah. And there you have it. You have the mod menu. You press the back button to activate the menu. You press A to, you know, select. Shit. Press B no to go back. Down D pad is to, you know, scroll. RB is to no clip. And the time scale is to like you know LB, but you can change like the binds 
in one of the menus. I forgot which one it was. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video was, like, you know, helpful for you. Now you can guys, now you guys can mod Mario on an Xbox One because of the thing that I showed you in the first video. Like, not the first video, but, like, the first part of the video when I started recording. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I know it's been a long time since I uploaded. I apologize for that. And I'll see you guys in my next video.